a very warm welcome to this week's From Inspiring Guys YouTube presentation. Well, this week I've got a great friend of mine from England, Nadia Sawney, with me. Welcome, Nadia. Nadia is an interior designer in Oxford Church. It's her first visit down here to us and to this area of France. So I did have a couple of questions to ask, which I thought it might be of interest to you to see what she has to say. Now, Nadia, this is your first trip down here, correct, in this place. And I want to know what's your general impression of this area, the Nardashoff area of the farm so far. First of all, the grandeur of the properties. I mean, even though you can see some properties and they look like, yes, they're, they're empty, you need renovating, they just look so big and so beautiful. And you know there's going to be loads of time to even for family to But it's so space here yeah. that you really get. And I got from the moment I landed in Toulouse on the drive there, wonderful sense of space. Yeah, yeah. I, I think everybody would agree with that. Well, France is a big country. People forget that it's two and a half times the size of England. So yeah, that's what we meant. Yeah. And what do you think generally are the main? What would you say are the main reasons why British people want to either move here or buy a second home in France? Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to move into the usual compatriot question, which which we're going to have for the weather. But the weather does seem to be getting a lot worse in England. I mean, you know, for the last seven or eight months, it's been constant grey skies. Odd days here where there's been here and there with sunshine, and that does affect the psyche. And as an interior designer, I'm a creative person, and you, you don't feel that you're getting any outside stimulus from where you are living, which, which, which psychologically, subconsciously, is a tough one. Yeah. Um, so being able to live somewhere where there is a guaranteed climate mm -hmm. um, of good weather and blue skies, yeah, yeah. I'm just can't be able to go wrong with that. Really. Yeah. I think most people agree with that actually. But that's such a big impact on people. It does. Older, I think. It does. And, <laughs> and, and also, you know, the, the, you know the, the, we have a, a massive immigration problem in, in the UK now. We're a tiny island and it's incredibly overcrowded and the sense of Englishness has, has, has gone and possibly have to return. Mm -hmm. And so, um, um, yes, I think France can, you know, you're going to be in a in a, in a foreign country, you can embrace it, but it's 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 a country that can't for a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now many of um, my readers follow the progress that we've made um, in this house, uh, a work in progress. Obviously, it's a huge house. What do you think of it so far? Well, it's <laughs> inter interestingly, I remember when you and your husband first got the brochures back to London when you were still living there, and I saw it then, and um, the the estate agency details, and then I've seen photographs. And you've shown me on Skype, showing me around the property over the last three years. Um, and I work with contractors all the time, that is my job. Um, and I've done uh, lots of renovations in Oxfordshire and in Buckinghamshire. Um, and the standard of work that Rod has done in this property is extraordinarily good. So much so that I think his name is Mr. Fixit, so we have to end right here and now. Mr. Fixit's not good enough for him, she's decided. Absolutely <laughs> not. I think that his name now has to be Mr. Empathy, which is Master Craftsman. Master Craftsman, is it? Because his finishing and his attention to detail is second to none, it's just superb. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fabulous. And if you're going to do the process of renovating the property, property um, do it properly. Yeah. Do it properly, and which is not always easy because no. a lot of contractors don't do it. Properly. Well, it takes time, it takes longer as well. Yeah, you have to live with it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I'm very impressed. It's a stunning, beautiful, beautiful oh, thing. But more importantly than, than, than that, or as important, I should say, is the feel of this property. Yeah, it's uh -huh. fantastic. I'm glad you like it. Beautiful. Anyway, Mr. Fixit is now master craftsman, MC, didn't forget. Now, finally, last question. What would you say, difficult to say, but what generally would you think are the pros and maybe the cons of moving to France? Well, I think, yeah. I think that the, 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 the only con I can think of with moving to France is, is that you have to be able to speak the language. Yeah. I don't speak French. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, we've been out to a couple of antique shops today, and, and it's very difficult to negotiate with somebody if you can't speak the language. Um, and so you have to commit to that. Um, but I think that, that, you know, there's lots of ways that you can learn, and I think people would be helpful. Um, the, the, the pros of staying in England, I'm English through and through, and I am very proud of my heritage, but I can't really think of many pros of staying, unfortunately, in England. I think it's so many any longer. Famous. It's really sad, but it's, it's true. Very sad. It's very sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
and we could there's a whole program on that. Sure. Um, yeah. Um, which we don't have time for today. We have to come down again then. Yes. <laughs> yes I'd love to. Love to. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope that's really been some help to you. Uh, as always, do send me any questions you've got. If you've got any topics that you'd like me to cover here, great. Phone our London office, email me. As you know, you'll always get a personal reply. For now, we're going to say cheers and have a good week. Cheers. Thank you for listening. <laughs>